Hello everyone, Halo Moon here, and in this video, we are going to do a quick recap on what went down during the Tokyo Mew Mew first muting live event. In addition, I'm also going to talk about some things the project has recently released so far since this March of 2021. Alright, let's get into it. After the idol group performed their first live performance together on stage, the first big announcement was that Tokyo Mew Mew will be getting released in the year of 2022. Now, I know, I know, yes it is a bit of a bummer that we have to wait another year, but the cast and crew are probably working very hard to give the fans a worthy reboot, so we should all keep that in mind. And before you get too bummed out, they did give us a bit of a treat with a first teaser visual of the new Mew Ishigo design. Woo! I am still fangirling over this new design. I personally think that this new art style looks really nice and there are of course some noticeable differences in the costume and design from the original anime. One of the biggest differences of course being that Mew Ishigo's hair is now red in her Mew form, whereas in the original anime, it was pink. I wonder if they're going to also swap out her human hair for different colors or keep that the same. <laughs> Wondering about the other Mew members' designs? Although they only gave us a sneak peek of Mew Ishigo in the live event, there is one thing that is interesting to note that just might answer your question. There exists a two chapter manga sequel to the original Mew Mew series, which was made by the original creators. On the cover art of the manga, you can see that the design of Mew Ishigo is a similar, if not the exact same as the sneak peek, meaning you can also likely assume that the other characters will follow their new manga sequel design and grab your sneak peeks of the other Mew members from there. Following up on the sneak peek, the Mew Idol group announced their official group name, which we are now to address them by as Smoothie. According to the Idol group, the concept behind Smoothie is to mix new charm with Tokyo Mew Mew and to deliver it to the world more cutely and deliciously. That's right, as you likely guessed, that means the five members will not only be voice actors for the show, but will also continue to perform and release music as an idol group. An additional fact that you might like to know about the logo is that within the smoothie cup is a fruit for each character's name. So we have strawberry, mint, lettuce, pudding, and pomegranate. <laughs> Next up on the announcement board, we also got a first view of an official idol shot of the group, which they themselves got to see for the first time during the event. And I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that they were pretty happy with how it turned out. And honestly, I think it turned out pretty awesome as well. If they were to ever do a live action of Tokyo Mew Mew, they would actually be crazy to cast anyone else but these five girls. I think each and every one of them fits their casted role so well, even though we haven't seen a whole lot of voice acting from them yet, I already can just see how they embody their characters and how hard they work. It would be really cool to see that if they ever were to take a live action route in the future. If your opinion was somewhat similar to my own, you might like to know that there is an official social media which was announced for the idol group for both Twitter and TikTok which I would definitely recommend following for updates. There's probably going to be sneak peeks on songs, dances, and a bunch of other fun stuff. I'd also like to mention that if you're looking for a place for further updates on the anime, you can definitely follow the official social medias for the Tokyo Mew Mew New Project, but you can also consider subscribing to my channel. As of right now, I do plan on making more content about the anime whenever they give us additional details and whenever we get closer to the release date for 2022. If you aren't already following the idols on social media, you might not know that on March 22nd, 2021, the group officially released their first startup single, Bittersweet Darling, which I will add is very catchy, so don't say I didn't warn you. 
Finally, the vet wrapped up with a heartfelt note from the series' original creator, Mia Ikumi, who expressed both their excitement and pride of the idol group for the hard work they put in so far towards the reboot. I'm not able to translate the whole speech, but you can revisit the live event at around the timestamp 3018 and turn on English subtitles there. They aren't super accurate, but you can somewhat get a lot of what she is saying. Additionally, she did create a very nice drawing for the idol group and show of her support for them all. <laughs> now, even after the event, there are still some questions left unanswered. One of the main ones being, is this reboot going to be a brand new story or a continuation of where the original anime left off? Even after the live event, it appears this information has still not been clarified officially. However, I would personally say the series is strongly leaning towards a retelling of the original manga. Here's some of the reasons I think why. When you visit the official website and go to the news section, it does state that the production is a completely new animation based on Tokyo Mew Mew, which leads me to believe that this series is going to be more like a reboot with better animation. Another detail on the website that supports this idea actually comes from the naming of the new idol group which was called Smoothie. The website states that the name Smoothie was partly decided in connection with the smoothie made by mixing fruits and vegetables with a mixer, which I said earlier in the video, the concept is, let's mix new charm with Tokyo Mew Mew and deliver it to the world more cutely and deliciously. So yes, personally to me, I think this news adds points to the idea that this is more of a reboot than a new story. But, perhaps they still intend to change some things to follow the manga a little more closely. Finally, some of you may still be wondering if this anime is going to be getting an English VA or not. As of right now, there have been no official announcements of any English dub, However, I will say that the project members seem to be very aware that there is a large English following for this anime and I wouldn't be surprised if maybe sometime next year or even this year we might get some announcements of an official English dub. That would be super great, so we'll have to see where that goes in the future as well. So we will be on the lookout for that. Again, definitely subscribe to this channel for further information about that in the future. I will do my best to update on that when I can and when we get more information. That brings us to the end of this video. Be kind, do kind things for others, and peace.